Over the past few weeks, we've been doing some Money in the Bank qualifying matches to determine the six members who will compete in this match. Three from Raw, three from SmackDown. We have our three members from Raw and we have two from SmackDown, meaning there is one spot left. But this spot will not be decided tonight like we normally do. Instead, this final member will be chosen and you will all find out who it will be on the night. So as for tonight, we have a big matchup, a fatal four-way match, the Intercontinental Championship number one contenders matchup. The winner will face the Intercontinental Champion Kofi Kingston at Money in the Bank. As well as this, the Big Show will take on Alberto Del Rio, Sheamus will take on Wade Barrett, and much, much more. So stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen, and I hope you guys enjoy the show. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to some more WWE 13 Universe Mode. I'm Brandon. And she heard Vince McMahon, big announcement tonight as we skip through our main event. Damien Sandow getting a win, Kofi Kingston getting a win, AJ Lee getting a win over K Cameron, uh, triple threat match, The Big Show getting a win, and Rey Mysterio getting a win. So that's it for our main event show. Big show in store for you guys here, as you can see, the final show for Money in the Bank. And we're going to do a little special thing for you guys this episode, as you see, we're just going to check through the rankings. And um, this should be a really good episode for you guys. Leading into Money Bank, which will be absolutely awesome. The card looks great, and uh, you guys will definitely enjoy it. So make sure you stick around and check that one out when it comes around. So this is the card this week, so we're just uh, having a look here. We're actually going to play two matches this week. Uh, so something a little different, and something that you guys have been asking me to do. So uh, our first match, uh, Wade Barrett versus the number one contender, Sheamus. Sheamus getting a win. And uh, AJ Lee taking on Caitlyn. AJ Lee, the Divas Champion, getting a win. And, uh, of course, the Fatal 4-Way matchup that will be played. The Usos taking on The Shield with uh, Dean Ambrose in their corner. And The Shield getting a win there. And uh, let's go check out this Fatal 4-Way matchup, which is a number one contenders match for the Intercontinental Champion. The winner will take on Kofi Kingston at the Money in the Bank pay-per-view, which, like I said before, will be awesome. So this should be an exciting matchup. Four guys who are desperate and hungry for an opportunity at the championship. As you know, Cody Rhodes and uh, Christian have been all over the Intercontinental Championship scene. So will someone like Sin Cara come out of nowhere and earn a shot? Or will Damien Sandow get a shot? That will be decided in this episode. So... Who knows? I mean, we've seen quite a few of the same guys getting opportunities at Money in the Bank, so it's good to see... Sorry, getting opportunities at the championship, so it's good to see at Money in the Bank we do have a few different guys contending for the belts, like Sheamus for the Big Show, Brock Lesnar for the WWE Championship, and um, we will be doing some more championship matches on the SmackDown and Raw show, so expect to see the belts like the Intercontinental Championship, Tag Team Championship, United States Championship. We won't be doing the major championships on the uh, normal shows, unfortunately. That's pay-per-view special only. But uh, expect to see these kind of belts defended a little bit more often. So that is something I do plan on doing in the next few weeks. So uh, here is Christian, who has been the number one contender for quite some time. His name's been the number one on the rankings list, but he has to win this match again. Has to win another contenders match to prove himself worthy of a shot at Kingston's Championship, who has held it, I believe, since the beginning of our universe mode as well. So the Big Show and Kingston dominating SmackDown in the two tiers, so the mid-card and main event scene. So can we see a new champion be crowned at money in the bank? I'm guessing it will happen. I think it's bound to happen. Both these guys had some good runs, and uh, we're going to be seeing the Big Show later on in action against Alberto Del Rio. That will be after this matchup. So two matches this week. So And, and uh, as uh, Cody Rhodes went for an attempted roll-up, but Sandow kicking out. So the Rhodes Skull is taking on each other in this matchup. So uh, I guess... Uh, no love lost here. They will beat the crap out of each other for an opportunity at the uh, Intercontinental Championship. As you see, the uh, match moving and progressed on. Went for quite a long time, but uh, it was a really exciting matchup. As, uh, well, we've come to expect from these four guys. So, Sin Cara 
looking to get uh, Sandow up. Oh, as he hits him, bang, down on the mat. And uh, Sandow luckily able to get to the ropes. So Money in the Bank is uh, aiming up to look really, really good. And uh, the Money in the Bank ladder match itself, the final competitor will be announced on the pay-per-view itself. So that is something to look forward to. And I'm telling you guys, you will definitely like who, who I picked to be that final and, well, special um, competitor. So, so I picked him myself. So uh, the random or, I don't know, surprise entrant in the Money in the Bank ladder match will uh, definitely be awesome. So you guys, stay tuned for that. You'll find that out, like I said, on the pay-per-view. And there will be a promo leading up to that matchup as well. So expect to see that in the coming days as well. The pay-per-view, same kind of format. The hour long, hour and a half long, however long it goes for format. And um, same, same kind of style. I've been thinking about doing a live stream for it. But there's a lot of things that I like to add into the show to as well. So uh, we won't be able to do a live stream for it. But... I think you guys will certainly enjoy what I've got installed for it. Anyway, so look forward to seeing that. And um, as uh, we see this match going really, really well at the moment, who knows who's going to pick this victory up here. It could go either way. As uh, it's remained pretty competitive, of course, the steel chair out in place. And this is, of course, a no disqualification matchup. So these guys are able to use it as Sin Cara going for a attempted pinfall here as we noticed I noticed throughout this matchup that a lot of these guys were going for pinfalls and they're just kicking out at zero we weren't even able to get to the count so uh, interesting to see that as we see another pinfall and there it goes can't even get to a one count so both the all four of these guys not wanting to give it up as Cody Rhodes has got Sandow up this could be dangerous and he slams into the mat suplex and Sandow kicking out at zero once again and uh, Sin Cara squaring off. And he's uh, hit his finishing maneuver on Christian as we skip forward ahead. And now Christian planting Sin Cara to the mat. Cover one and a kick out. So exciting stuff. Now uh, leading towards SummerSlam, I think you guys are going to enjoy what's, what's to come. I think there is no set in stone plans on what I do have for, for SummerSlam. But um, I'm sure we can come together and um, pick up some good ideas I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions on what the matches should be at the SummerSlam pay-per-view and uh, of course leading probably more after Money in the Bank the first episode of the Money in the Bank I'll start to read you guys thoughts and opinions and we'll start to uh, devise a card for SummerSlam and um, should we bring back another old superstar so we've brought back Lesnar we've brought back The Rock should we bring back another guy like The Undertaker, the uh, Triple H, uh, Shawn Michaels, someone like that, Edge, Booker T. You know, there's plenty of uh, guys that do qualify to, to return to our show. Should we consider bringing them back? Well, leave a comment down below and we'll uh, figure that one out as we go. As uh, Christian dragging Sin Cara in the middle of the ring. Here's a cover. One, two, three gets it. And Christian has pinned Sin Cara as uh, the Rhodes Scholars were too busy uh, fighting each other to notice. Christian is our number one contender. Well, he already was, but he's certainly proved it in this matchup now after getting a big win. Kofi Kingston, look out. Christian is ready, and I think we might be seeing the new Intercontinental Champion after Money in the Bank. And we're going to have to wait and find out as we go ahead and check out Michael Cole backstage with the World Heavyweight Champion, The Big Show. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with the World Heavyweight Champion, The Big Show. The Big Show will face Sheamus at this Sunday's Money in the Bank pay-per-view. Do you have any final words or messages to Sheamus? Well, Michael Cole, I am a giant. A giant, the world's largest athlete. Sheamus, if you think you're going to take this championship away from me, then think again. Go ask Alberto Del Rio. Go ask Daniel Bryan. I've held this championship since the beginning of this universe mode, and I damn will not lose it anytime soon. Especially to a ginger snap like you. 
I am the World Heavyweight Champion for a reason. That's because I am the best here on SmackDown. And if you want to take this championship away from me, you're going to have to kill me because I'm not giving it up that easy. Sheamus, this Sunday night, you will finally find out how it feels to be knocked out by the world's largest athlete. Well, some really strong words there from the Big Show. A message, I believe, has been sent to Sheamus as uh, Alberto Del Rio coming out in his big fancy car. A lot of history between the Big Show and Alberto Del Rio. Who can forget at Extreme Rules when these two guys faced off in one of the most grueling matches I've seen, especially on our Universe mode, where Alberto Del Rio has... Well, beat the living crap out of the Big Show. We all thought, everybody thought, well, there's no way the Big Show is going to come back from this. And he somehow pulled through and beat Del Rio to retain. And Del Rio since then had a rematch, I believe, at Over the Limit. And the Big Show was unable to, uh, well, sorry, Del Rio was unable to stop the Big Show as the Big Show retained his world championship. And also the Big Show went on to Vengeance and took out Daniel Bryan for the championship as well. So... Nobody has been able to stop the Big Show yet. Will it be Del Rio? So, will it be uh, Sheamus's chance to do so? But Del Rio gets that opportunity tonight. Can he beat the Big Show? As Sheamus is coming out here to uh, look so he's going to get a better look by sitting ringside at the commentary booth there next to the King. So Sheamus obviously wants to scout out his opponent before Money in the Bank to uh, see how he can beat him because. Uh, like I said, no one's been able to stop him at the big back body drop there. My goodness. And uh, throwing Del Rio into the corner. Now, like I said, these guys have had plenty of matches in the past. Del Rio has not really been able to get the best of the Big Show whatsoever. So you'd have to believe the Big Show is going to be able to get the job done here again. And Sheamus, well, him and the Big Show have squared off a few times on their universe mode. But... It's all been the Big Show. Nobody's really been able to uh, stop him. And Sheamus hasn't had an opportunity at the championship belt yet, so he hasn't had a chance to prove himself where it counts. But at Money in the Bank, he will get that chance. So can he finally stop the Big Show? Can somebody finally take that belt off? And we have to wait and see as SummerSlam, of course, approaches very, very soon. Make sure you guys leave some comments and suggestions for SummerSlam. It's a very exciting show. Can't wait to see that, but who will be the World Heavyweight Champion and WWE Champion leading into those shows? We don't know, as John Cena will, of course, defend his championship against Brock Lesnar one-on-one. -on -one. That will be an exciting matchup. And, uh, of course, we found out that Christian will take on Kobe Kingston at uh, Money in the Bank as well. Our truth will defend his United States Championship against Santino Morella. The Shield will take on 3MB. So, uh, plenty of big matches for you guys. And, of course, the big one, the Money in the Bank ladder match. Will we see a SmackDown superstar get the win? Or will we see a Raw superstar get the win? So, it really is a SmackDown versus Raw a rivalry there. So, uh, I'd have to say probably, probably my tip would be the experienced Chris Jericho. You'd have to say that someone with the experience like him will be able to pull through. Of course, he did invent the match. So, you'd have to think so. But... Big Show hitting the choke slam there. That's going to be it. That's a three count with the Big Show getting the win. Let me know who you think will win the Money in the Bank ladder match. Leave your predictions down below. Will it be any of the five superstars that are currently confirmed? Or will it be the mystery sixth man? Who will be the mystery guy? Leave your guesses down below. I'm interested to see who you guys will think. And uh, Money in the Bank will be very exciting. I can't wait for it. I hope you guys enjoy it. And uh, as we see the Big Show, so he's just confused or calling out Sheamus here. But, of course, Sheamus is at uh, commentary. Turn around. Boom. Hits him with the clothes like Guys, make sure you, if you enjoy the video, make sure you leave a like, comments, appreciate and subscribe. Money in the Bank coming very, very soon. Can't wait for it. Hope you guys enjoy the video.